Kimberly has placenta previa and needs to give birth in a hospital. How far are your contractions, Kim? There was a 97% chance of infant mortality. But she finds herself in the care of a mother of the bride, who happens to be an ER nurse. Thank God that there's somebody else here that can help me because I really didn't want to do it on my own. Kimberly's placenta is being pushed aside by her delivering baby. If it breaks, Kim could bleed to death. Really use an ambulance here! So we look and my son's head is already halfway out. I need to push! I need to push! I can see the crown of the baby, Kim! You can push! Kim, push! Oh, come on, Kim, you can do it! Okay, hold on! I reached in and I had to check to make sure there wasn't a cord around the neck before we continued. <laughs> and I said, all right. And she pushed. <laughs> My son's head comes out. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> and push number two, the baby comes out. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> when the baby comes out, I'm so grateful to see this beautiful baby boy. <laughs> Is he okay? Why isn't he crying? <laughs> the baby isn't making a sound. And I didn't have anything to suction with. I didn't have any tools. And so I just kind of quick flipped him face down so I could rub his back. He let out a cry. I put him right to mom's chest. There were definitely a flood of emotions that were happening at that point. Hi, sweetie. Hi. And I hear this life-affirming scream. Yes. That was one of the most perfect moments of my life. Yes. Okay, I'm going to check if you're bleeding. Yeah. OK. The mother could have bled out or started to bleed out. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Kim, you're OK. She's not bleeding. I have a sense of relief that I have this baby who is alive and breathing on me. Neither mom nor dad had any idea what good hands they were in. Excuse me. <laughs> a, another woman in a formal dress approaches, and she says, uh, I'm a chiropractor, and I have some training with newborns. Is there anything I can do? And I get tapped on the shoulder, and I turn around, and there's this gentleman in this tuxedo. <laughs> I'm a neonatologist. Mind if I take a look at your baby? <laughs> and he's like, let me just check out this baby. And so I'm surrounded by all these people in wedding attire, all trying to help my wife deliver my son. We were told that we had more trained medical personnel than we would have if we went to the hospital. <laughs> it was kind of crazy how everything went very chaotic uh, in a positive way. 